Para todo cubano la relación con el mar es muy fuerte. La mujer, le han prohibido tantas cosas. Somos complicados. Afrocubano, un valor tremendo cultural que eso subsiste en Cuba. Cada uno de estos pintores relata de algunos momentos que vivieron o algunos momentos que pensaron sobre Cuba. Mi trabajo es pintar el hombre de la naturaleza. Mi padre era grabador, estaba trabajando con papeles. Trabajo en memoria. I make films that move me and uh, say something about the world around me that needs to be said, that others may not be saying. There is a specificity to each story because I think people are at the heart of any story. And I think out of the specificity comes uh, larger themes that we need to address. And perhaps my films can bring in more people to address them because the characters in the film speak as people. And uh, that's the role the films play. That's how I choose my stories. They come from different places in my heart and my mind and different things I want to say at different moments of my life as in any of the arts. I think, for example, uh, The Bengali, my recent film came from the fact that I myself am Bengali an Indian American, and I'd been told for years by my mother that there had been Indians who came here before us. And she was a history teacher, so she knew that this was not in the history books. So when I found the story and the people in the story, I thought this is what she was talking about. And that's where that film comes from. It's a story of migration. It's about family that stretches across the whole world. It's about questions of who we are and where we come from that I think should hold resonance for many of us. Who belongs where? How do we live together in a global society? You know, I grew up an Indian in an America that didn't see me, that didn't hear me. And films are a way of my expressing myself despite what I was told to be quiet and sit down as a woman, as an Indian, as an American from far away. I don't just choose subjects that reflect me literally, because I don't think that's how we change the world. I think our world is larger than that. And we find connections with each other. I made a film called Back Walking Forward about a young man with brain injury. And when I was first thinking of making the film, His medical team asked, would you do this? Would you do this? And I said, well, it's not that I won't do this. It's just, I don't know a lot about brain injury. And at that point, I didn't. I met with the family. The son had brain injury. And what I discovered in sitting in their living room was that I was talking to a family. He had a mother who cared a lot about him. When they gave a percentage of whether Eric would live or Eric would die, there was like, see, no space, virtually no space. That's exactly how it was told to us. I'm also a mother and I understood what she would do for her son and what it meant to her. When the mother in that film urges other parents not to give up, that's a story for all of us. That film has been shown all over the world. And brain injury is one of the major public health crises that we face today. The arts have a lot to contribute. The world is going crazy with those terrorists, but I am sure I have the remedy. Cool all those terrorists. from all over. It's through the artists that we can connect with each other and it's through those connections that we can bring about real change in people's mindsets because that's what's got to change first. Conflict dominates the news cycle and I'm not naive enough to think 
that we're not living in a world filled with conflict everywhere we turn. But there is another side to life that maybe it doesn't sell, but it's worthwhile because that's the only way we can rebuild. And I'm not saying we should pretend there are no differences. We should acknowledge differences and we should address them. We should admit if they make us uncomfortable, we should find out more about the differences. And by working through that, we will reach a commonality and that will get us beyond the conflict.